Costumes, makeup, some fans even go one step further and manufacture their own props from the show. Mm -hmm. Do you manufacture these, mm -hmm. uh, what are they, taken right from the uh, series the best you can? Uh, yes, through many searches of film clips, mm -hmm. and you get to get the right size from seeing where their hands are held. Now, is there a demand for these? Do you sell them, or are they No, personal? I don't sell them. They're illegal to be sold. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. What what, uh, what have you made this one out of here now? That's sheet metal. And what is that? Well, it's tricorder. It's mm -hmm. a combination sensor, computer, recorder. Mm -hmm. There it is. We're, we're picking up KSFO, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Actually, I think it's a little bit more than KFRC. Mm -hmm. What, ki what kind of reaction do you get when you show these to the fans? Do, do they want to buy them, or do they want Yes, mm -hmm. yes, certainly. They ask, where'd you buy them? Where'd you buy them? Right. That's one of the... Maybe Mattel, or it'll be new <laughs> from Kenner before we know it, right? Maybe. Yes, maybe. Okay. Well, they're very good. They're very uh, very authentic. Have you have you talked to anybody from the series who wants to pick up one? Like... Uh, well, I don't really know, but Mr. Rod, Gene Ronmary, the creator of the show, yes. called down to San Diego and said, I remember a group of people that had some fantastic props. I need them for an interview. Will mm -hmm. they let them, will they let me have them? And we said yes, and he used them in an interview. Great, great. Okay, thank and you And they also, they oh, also, one. also, they, since many of their own originals were lost or stolen, mm -hmm. they went back and took ours as the size. They measured them. Fantastic. So you're part of, Again. you're really part of Star Trek, aren't yes, you? Yes, in a sense.